Why do I like Hooters? Well, I will give you two reasons, the boobs and the hot wings. It was breaking news, Hooters is closing uh, 44 stores. It's a and dark they, day in America. There should be more Hooters places. And give. we should open up Peckers for the women. Uh, guy, guys walking around in G-strings. We, you know you, what? There's nothing like that for women. The only, we, like the only, uh, I mean, yeah, What? Where, where do we go to see that? Do, There's we, no, do women want to see that though? Yeah, Chippendales are huge. If you're not eating there. I would. Would you, would you go to a restaurant where there was cute guys serving you, like Hooter style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fling that food over in my mouth. <laughs> Give me that wing. <laughs> what kind of Flick wing? Flick it over you? here. <laughs> You'd be like in a Japanese restaurant where they do the wing, like uh, the, the, the chicken. Shrimp. The shrimp. Yeah. Yeah. The shrimp off the, off off the, the hang low. Uh, off the hang low. <laughs> the spatula <laughs> hang low. My buddy told me, he goes, he goes, Hooters girls, which there's a little truth to this. I'm not saying all of them. He goes, Hooters girls are either on their way to the strip club or leaving the strip club. They're retiring from the strip club. It's either the gateway to start or it's the gateway to come out. Feeling it out. Mm -hmm. And then also for guys, when before you start really hitting up strip clubs hard because it's more expensive, you, before you oh, fell, Hooters be, was the gateway yeah, to the strip club. Before yeah. you fell in love with a stripper, you fell in love with a Hooters girl. <laughs> I were, used to have some Hooters shorts. Oh, see? I found them at the thrift store and I wore Ooh. them when I would run. <laughs> and I thought that Ooh. they were the best. Wearing Hooters girl <laughs> shorts from a thrift store. Nicole is stepping it oh up. Oh, my God. I where was you, like, where 17. do you get your underwear from? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Little did I, I know. If I walked in the Hooters and knowing they're closing them down, if I would buy an outfit just for historical purposes. Maybe only. we need to go and get, we need to get at least a shirt, hang it up there in the back. I just feel like we should work harder to preserve that part of our history. It's like when Maxim Magazine quit printing. Yeah. That was like a moment for guys. It was just like, it was like guys who like to go to clubs. They had, they had the like dive bar of the month and it was just yep. fun. It was nothing like yeah. absurd. <laughs> Maxim was like the hustler for church boys. They had art for a long time. They had a, a like a little segment in their magazine called Accidental Porn, where they would like yeah. see these <laughs> things in stores and be like, this seems legit, but it looks a, a lot like a, a sex toy, you know. It's just, <laughs> and it was just goofy dad jokes and some pretty girls, and they, and they would have real stuff like beer segments for guys mm -hmm. who like beer and. It's so, not that I want to get into a big porn conversation, but when I was growing up, and apparently this has happened with a lot of a lot of kids, we used to find porn in the woods. I, I That's did the too. first time I found it, in I the woods. I found magazines in the woods, yeah. It was the weirdest things. It, it was like- <laughs> What is it's that? Like there's, there's, there's a penthouse over here. And it's like, really? And you know, but yeah, that's where you found porn was in the woods. The I think husbands would put their porn mags in like a vacuum bag and bury it under leaves because we had the same. Me and my cousin, we were just going through to our tree house that we built in these woods, and it's like, what is this? What is this? And it was a whole bag full of magazines, and we jacked those things right away. It was just a bag. I can't remember exactly, but it was sealed up somehow, I guess, from to save it from the elements. And we were, we thought we were in trouble. We we're like, what's going on? Is this a, is this a trap? It was an offering. Yeah. Because the guy that the guy left it there because he's been using your treehouse to jack off. It. Probably. <laughs> so it was like, hey, hey, no, no hard feelings. Probably. Literally. Your treehouse is this jack hall. <laughs> his jack shack. Dude. It's his jack shack. It, it, it probably was his creep creeper hideout, and he probably left it there as a thank. Thanks, kids, for the for yeah. the treehouse. But yeah, I found porn in the woods. I, that's so crazy. One time, but I found it. But that's a reoccurring story I've heard my whole life. Guys like, oh yeah, I found a Playboy in the woods. Mm -hmm. It's like, why is this porn in the woods? Yeah, why? How does why the porn get that? there? It just, that's where the guys drop it. It's a hell of a hike too. I mean, you're talking about you're hiking into the woods, and there's just porn there. It's like, mm -hmm. look at the struggle of man. There was a time when a man had to buy the magazine, hide it from his wife, bury it in the in the in the ground, and then go back and retrieve it in the middle of the night just to look. And now you can just pull up your phone, and there it is. Right, it's too easy now because then it was we. You had to work for it. Yeah, there. men were mm -hmm. like feral animals. You know, it's like we had to 
We had to connive uh, to get that satisfaction. To go jerk off in tree houses. <laughs> I'm going to go jerk off in this kid's tree house. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Let's go run to the corner store. <laughs> and, they, and the guy was like, I'll just blame damned old kids. <laughs> they're hitting puberty. I don't know what they're doing. So I got a little Hulk Hogan tidbit that probably not many people know about. So in the early, early 80s, I want to say maybe 83 or so, Hogan did a photo shoot for Mac. This was before WWF, before Rocky, before when he was on the come up in a magazine called We, O-U-I. And there was like six page layout of him with just mobs of naked women. And they, and he's like grabbing their boobs, grabbing their butt, <laughs> full on like hustler style. Hogan was, was the guy in it, wearing next to nothing as well. And they buried it you can't find it anywhere <laughs> but if you want to find hogan in some pretty wild photos do you guys remember thunder in paradise do you ever watch this yeah, that, with hulk hogan? Hulk, hulk hogan thunder in paradise <laughs> yeah and it was the same kind of kind of thing like it had that you know the same shots as uh baywatch where you got that slow shutter you know they've got like just in the first episode of the show there's like all these this whole sequence that goes on for like 10 fucking minutes and it's just like the intro to Baywatch it's just all That's the shots the of people show. out yeah. on the beach I yeah. think it was created by the same guys I wouldn't be surprised that's the, that's the weird thing like Baywatch went on for a while and you know pop culture like it it, it, it spurred movies parodies mm -hmm. but nobody's making a joke of Thunder of Paradise because that thing was a <laughs> That thing was a joke all on its own. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, I think I was dead on arrival. I think, you know, there was a time, there was a time that they, people, there was no, nothing deeper than, all right, we need be a beach, bikinis, and Hulk Hogan. It'll work. Mm -hmm. Whatever and, we do with that, it'll work. And that was the, that's as deep as it got for Thunder in Paradise. And the big thing was, is that that boat they had, it, it, Thunder in Paradise was, it was Baywatch meets A Team meets Night Ma Rider. Night Rider meets Magnum PI. Yeah. These creators were horny as shit. <laughs> and all the girls look alike. Yeah. They they cast girls like the way that you put your carry on luggage in the rack at the airport. <laughs> Does it fit? Yeah, you're in. They just went down to Hooters. Right, they got all the got Hooters all girls that are losing their jobs. <laughs> oh, I hear the thunder, oh. look at this. Oh, he's got the eye patch. Yeah, he was going to have two, but <laughs> he needed one. See, it's amazing, that boat is so long, but when you see the inside of the show, it's 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 deep, but they never yeah. use the length of it. Mm. Man, I loved that so much when I was younger, but even when I was younger, I always knew you couldn't fool me with that boat the <laughs> boat on the water it's like small speed boat kind of thing but then they go to all these shots of them in the boat and it's just like big enough to have a, a jet ski in there and he's just like walking around putting face paint on and <laughs> ready for launch ready on my mark three two one Where is that boat now? You should think be, Hogan's got it? Should be in a museum. It should be. Should be in the Smithsonian. Oh, look, this is inside the boat. <laughs> he was. Th name. This is inside that little boat. <laughs> look at that. Is that it's the like Millennium the, Falcon? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like the. It's like uh, Red October down there. <laughs> this show, I'm convinced they only have one season because they blew their whole budget on the interior of that boat. Oh, here's a great thing too. Look, it had wow. Mrs. Garrett in it. Can we just talk about like the wardrobe for a second too? These outfits. He's having be, trouble walking in those pants. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be great if every other scene the eye patch is on the other eye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at those, look at those boots. <laughs> She's tucked into those boots. Oh my God. <laughs> he wore those cowboy boots on the lake. Look, he's got chaps that he wears when he rides his motorcycle in here. I kid you not, they say bad to the bone in like the, yes. the tramp stamp area. Look at this. <laughs> Is this how boys settle, settle things? 
Oh boy. <laughs> Dude, he missed that kick by a mile. <laughs> <laughs> I at least still had the sound design. <laughs> no, I, I heard him hit it. <laughs> what is going on right now? Oh my god. This is how Navy SEALs fight. And next, the anal sex. Yeah. <laughs> Just cuts to a scene of them banging in the boat. Yeah. Yeah, they got a king size water bed right next to the jet ski. Mrs. Garrett. From Facts Life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's in the hot tub. Yeah, she's everywhere, and I don't understand what. Would you leave Ms. LaRue and I alone for a moment so I can show her some of my. I kicked her right out. Kicked her right out of the hot tub. Can you get out of my way, please, Miss Garrett? She's probably 35 right there. I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no. I don't know what to say. You'll think of something later. 